spine powers. I use a power called throw spines, which very self-explanatory. I throw spines at you. The majority of the damage that I take from the power called throw spines is lethal, but then afterwards I will take this a DOT, a damage over time, that is toxic. And I cannot defend against the toxic, I have to defend against the lethal part. But if I get hit by the lethal part, then I take extra toxic damage. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, you cannot have toxic toxic defense, but you can have toxic resistance. But you have what we, what the I like what not what I like to call, but what is called positional defenses. Positional defenses have nothing to do with the damage type, but rather it has to do with the attack type. There are three different types of <coughs> attacks in the game: melee, ranged, and AOE. So instead of having defense to all different types, you can have defense to just those three at types of attack, and you have defense to everything. It, it's a different concept, but, and there are different um, power sets that use um, positional defense, and then some that use damage type defense. But positional defense is definitely the most um, popular. I should say. But um, there is the, a cap to defense. However, I'm pretty sure all the ATs have, if they've invested enough money into um, enhancements and all that, have a chance to get the defense soft cap. Now, a hard cap is something that once you get to that point, you can't get any higher. But a soft cap, and especially in COH, or especially for defense in COH, it's once you reach that that point, there's no point, you can still go higher, but there's no point in going any higher. In, in COH, it's 45%. And why, why do I say 45%? I'll explain why. Mobs in this game, especially at even level, or even one or two levels higher, always have a 50% chance to hit you. And this is calculated against your defense. So, if you, if <clears throat> at any time you at least have five percent, a five percent chance to hit to hit whatever you're attacking, mobs have the same have the same thing. But you want to reduce it to that five percent. But you need to put your defense up to forty-five, so that their fifty gets reduced to five. I hope that makes sense. Basically, you have 45% per, 45 defense, they have 50% chance to hit you if you didn't have any defense, but since you have 45%, it gets reduced to 5%. Their 50% gets reduced to 5%, so they always have a 5% chance to hit you, if it's, that, if it's that type of attack. A lot of people have trouble getting soft cap defense to everything. It takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of patience to get all of the stuff together. <clears throat> really, I like to live with builds that have really close, really, really close to soft cap. But this is this is a huge mechanics thing that people like to min max. They love to get forty five percent because that is the magic number. Once you have that, you are much much harder to kill. I mean, and. Yeah, getting to like 30% is great, getting to like 25% is great to, to everything, but that the magic number is definitely 45. And there's, a, there's actually a, uh, there's a, there's a thread on the COH forums that explain the difference between 25 and 30 and 45, and just, it, it makes a difference. Like, even the, the 5% between 40 and 45 makes a difference, but... <coughs> Really, that's all I have to say about defense. Then there's debuff resistance. Debuff resistance is basically there are powers in the game that makes it so your stats become less effective, but you can have powers or statistics that make it so they can't make your powers less effective. That's about it. I mean, there are things that make it so you can't regen as fast or you can't recover as fast or your two hit goes down or your recharge goes down. 
and there are powers in this game that make it so it nullifies those effects. Next up we have status effect protection. Uh, stat status effect protection is basically your protection against all the different types of mesmerizations. And there's hold, immobilize, stun, sleep, knock back, confuse, terrorize, repel, and teleport. Um, <clears throat> yes, you can be teleport teleported by foes, especially with PvP. That's your teleport protection. Repel pr protection is there are things that push just push you pretty much. There are powers in this game that just push you that don't that don't make it so you can't do anything, but put, like physically push you. And if you're a melee hero, then that can be a real problem if you can't get up to something. So that's why you have repel protection. And you have terrorize. Terrorize is interesting in that you can't do anything, you can't act while you're terrorized, but all your powers, all your toggles at least, still stay active. That's pretty much what terrorize is. A confuse makes it so. Uh, all your enemies become allies, and all your allies become enemies. So, yeah. Uh, knockback is getting knocked down for a duration of time. Sleep is, um, you can't do anything, but if you get attacked, then you wake up from your sleep. Stun is you can't do anything, but you can slowly move around while you're stunned. It's it's really really slow move around, but you can slowly move around while you're stunned. Immobilize is you can't move around, but you can still do stuff. Then hold is a combination of stun and immobilize. You you can't do anything and you can't move around. Basic stuff. And you can have protection to pretty much all of it. <clears throat> and you want protection to all of it, especially if you're like a, a melee class, like a scrapper or a tank or a brute or stalker, but for a blaster like me, it's really hard to get protection to, to all the status effects, but sometimes you can get a couple through powers and through power pools and all that. And lastly, we have static eff status effect resistance, and this is the duration at which um, all of the status effects last on you. So say I have, well, right now I have 100% hold resistance, but say that was 80%, then if I were affected by a hold, then it would only last 80% of, of, of what it would normally last. So status effects resistance is really good in, in that it makes it so status effects don't last as long on you. although. You might still be affected by it, it still won't last as long. So, that's gonna pretty much wrap this up. I think I pretty much killed my voice, but that's okay. I kinda wanted to put get one more video done, and I think this is gonna be decent and probably kind of long, but that's okay. Um, this has been the Celeste Blade City of Heroes. I'm Elbreed, and um, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to uh, subscribe. Um, I'm always up for questions and comments. Um, feel free to give me any suggestions as well. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.